God damn it. It's a fucking cold ass day 61. Whew. So. <laughs> Spring ball day 61. What am I going to hit? Uh, it's going to be an arm day. Just straight up buys, tries. Destroy them each. Both equally. You know, I'm not a... I'm not necessarily one to bias one specifically over the other. Not that I think anybody does. But I do have a preference of which one I'd rather hit first. For me, I've always kind of just gone triceps first and then finish with biceps. Uh, partially, I don't know. I think I heard somebody say that that was better when I was, uh, <clears throat> when I was starting. So I just kind of stuck with it. Uh, and then also I'd rather finish with an, with a, with a bicep pump, right? Like, when your triceps are pumped, it's cool. But a bicep pump, at least, you know, in my opinion, that's what, you know, you're going to want to, like, take a picture of, right? So, in terms of forearm training, I I used to do a lot. Like, every arm day, <clears throat> I'd throw in, like, ten sets of, like, forearm curls, working, like, this bottom part, and then... 10 sets of reverse curls, get in the back. But not so much as of late, just because my forearms are big enough. So let's fucking drink this pre and get in there. This is gonna be, uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a Planet Fitness special. Not that anything in terms of the workout is going to change, just the uh, the location. What a shocking sight. But either way, same shit for triceps. Just warm up, single arm. Uh, I don't know, maybe spend like 10 to 15 minutes. Everybody's forearm, I don't know what am I saying, everybody's elbow hurts doing push downs. That's a classic thing I hear. Uh... Like, just right in here, tendonitis style. Simple remedy. I mean, like, I'll, even I'll get sore, and I'm, like, you know, skull-crushing, like, a crazy amount of weight. But all it takes is warming up for a bit, I don't know, maybe 10, 10 minutes max. Usually I just do, like, five or so. Lightweight, just get some, you know, just kind of get used to the tension. Because what's the point of jumping up straight to, like, your working set if it's going to fucking hurt you? Whereas, you know, you take five minutes out of your lift, get a little bit warm, and then be comfortable. So if your elbow's fucked up, I'd say at least try it. What's it going to do? Take five minutes? That's nothing. Oh my god. I'll do a drop set for the third set. Oh. You know, everybody knows the deal. Planet Fitness gets a lot of hate. You know, nobody wants to lift at Planet Fitness. And there's an argument to be made there. Obviously, no squat racks, no benches. <coughs> the dumbbells only go up so heavy. But what kind of mindset do you have as a lifter? If you're saying, wow, 
I can't get a good workout at Planet Fitness. I'm not smart enough to, you know, make use of the equipment that they have to get a good lift, right? If you're a legit lifter, you could get a fucking baller workout wherever the hell you are. Like I got my little home gym. It's just dumbbells up to 50s and a squat rack. I was lifting, I've, I've lifted in there for months at a time, right? A real lifter can learn to adapt. So I couldn't really care less for like body weight dips in terms of like working your tricep. I mean, I see the appeal for like lower chest, you know, I'll throw it in rarely in that context. <laughs> but the dip machines, I love it. I wish I had one at the, at the gym that I've been going to in the last, what, 30 videos. So, you know, heavy as possible. I'll just start off with a straight set, but I'll probably throw in some variations where it'll be like, you know, either go heavy on the dip machine and then jump onto the rope push down or whatever combination in between. But until then, I'm thinking just one or two heavy sets. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh. Oh. Great way to load the triceps, like, even though, you know, the ROM on this movement, you're not going like all the way to completely bent, you're really just kind of getting not even 90, like kind of just focusing on here to here. Just the amount of tension and weight that's being moved. Like I'm getting a crazy amount of fatigue. But what's tricky about these is the novice lifter, purely based on like the biomechanics of the machine, he is going to be coerced into working his chest, right? Because that's, I mean, this is like, essentially a crazy decline bench, right? You'll be bent over and that's, this is your pec activating, pulling your arm downward. So it's going to come with just practice to be able to try to completely loosen up your chest. Like don't flex it at all and only try to flex your triceps so that they'll be the, the primary movers. And you know, I've been doing this for a while. I still feel it in the chest a little. You gotta be a damn legend to just only get your triceps going. But the closer you can get to just triceps working, the better. Oh my God. So, directed towards primarily my larger following, you know, in terms of like physical size, uh, a lot of times for double arm tricep stuff, the stack isn't gonna cut it. So you gotta figure out some, some way, somehow, to load the stack with more weight than it was designed to handle, which, you know, as tricky as it could be, uh, that's going to be conducive to growth. Oh, Jesus. Get in there. Yeah, fuck yeah. Let's just hope that plate doesn't fall off. Ugh. Ugh. So with the tricep pushdowns, I think I started doing this maybe like a year or so ago, where you do them like bent forward like that. So instead of looking, oh, whoops, instead of looking like this, 
straight up and down, shoulders back, pushing down. Obviously, I mean, you just saw it, you know, bend over, go like that. And what I've noticed is doing it like that really helps me get a better stretch. Like you'll be stronger in the normal standard way. But if you try them like this, I can just feel a way better stretch. I don't feel my chest activate as much. Worth trying at least. Okay, so that makes eight sets done. I'm thinking the next two, I'll do the some push downs with the rope heavy and then jump straight back on the dip machine lighter just so I can, you know, really squeeze it. felt okay. I think I'll just do a drop set with the rope instead for the next one. I'll finish off triceps last two sets with heavy rope, supersetted with lighter straight bar. Uh, I can always get a really good squeeze with the straight bar because when you get to the bottom and you just try to pull the handles apart, well, either side of the bar apart, just get a crazy squeeze. Oh my god. Okay, so that's the end of triceps. So I can get some curls going. It's like you can make do with the lighter dumbbells and whatever. But it does kind of limit you when you you know, you can curl heavier than the 75s, but whatever, 75 is heavy enough. I'm not usually the biggest preacher curl machine fan, but still got to change it up every so often. Don't want to get fucking stale with the training. So I'll probably just throw in two sets of single arm, maybe a, maybe a drop set on the second one if I want to get cheeky. So the last set was pretty controlled. Uh, for this one, since I'm doing a drop set, for the first heavy portion, like I'll up the weight like 30 pounds and really just try to throw it around. And then once I drop the weight, that's when I'll try to really squeeze. <laughs> Yeah. 
This was supposed to be a late lift. I'm fucking cutting into the morning crew now. I kind of thought that this whole place would be empty. Uh, so that's what, five? Yeah, five sets done, six more. Sometimes I'll throw in this little apparatus, setting up a seat right next to the, the cable. Because I like doing the single arm cable curls, but if, when you do them standing up, you, you kind of got to balance. It's like a whole thing. So if you got an open bench, then you set on it at like an incline. I'd try recreating this, but whatever. I think I'll do three sets, uh, just straight, one at a time, as many reps as whatever. Okay, I got a little heavier. Okay, so this will be set number number eight. Uh, again, I'll do my same classic little drop set. So, you know, 10 ish reps heavy, drop the weight by like. 30%, 40%, and then really focus on squeezing. If you got this specific bicep curl machine, or like one like it, I love it. This shit's sweet. Uh, for one thing, I mean, you know, you can load it up pretty hard. Like, there's some machines where, oh, well, there's one specific machine, if you've ever seen it, it's a standing single leg hamstring curl. So you'd stand up, you do one leg at a time, which it's a good machine, but you can't really load it up that much. Like, you have to go pretty light. Uh, so, the reverse would be like a leg press. You can throw 100 plates on the leg press. But whatever, what I'm getting at is, you can go heavy on a machine like this and get some really good uh, tension. So, what do I have? Three sets left? Three, two. Yeah, three sets left. I'm doing at least two of them right here. That's fucking 10 sets of biceps done. I got one more left. I think I'll do a drop set. Get a little complicated with it. So start with the 40s. Do my little pause reps. You know, you go halfway up, pause it, then go to the top. So do a set of those with the 40s and then drop it to like the 25s and just go AMRAP cross body curls. Finish off the pump. Super successful P Fit Day. It was badass. <sighs> 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 Oh my god. 
All right. Let's go check the pump. God damn it. Oh. So yeah, I mean, what did we do? It was just a variety of push downs, a few different kind of variations on the curls. But nothing crazy you know same as usual it's not gonna be so much more important about your exercise selection as it is just about going heavy and hard right somebody could get the perfect workout like let's say hypothetically somewhere there's the perfect number of sets and exercises to do but if they train like a pussy and they're not going hard guess what's gonna happen they're gonna stay small and they're not going to grow. So uh, that's my take on the matter, at least. Another take is that the locker room lighting is kind of ass. So whatever, I'll just be the asshole posing in the middle of Planet Fitness. But yeah, fucking arms pumped to hell. Holy shit. Holy hell. <laughs> Dude, that is fucking gnarly. It's hard to beat a good arm pump. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that is badass. Fuck. Veins coming out of places they shouldn't be. So, the last two summers, like right now, this is my hometown. Like, this is where I live during the summertime when I'm not at school. I would lift here every day after my, uh, my summer job. I got a cool ass, or I've had a cool summer job for the city. I paint crosswalks. Love it. But, yeah, I'd do, I'd do that shift like 6.30 to 2.30. And then I pack my little gym bag. And I come straight to Planet Fitness fucking every day of the week. Now, you know, not a lot of awesome machines. But, hell, the cables are nice. Everything's clean. Uh, honestly, I, there are good machines. Leg, leg extension, hamstring curl. A few machine leg presses, even though they're not that heavy. A bunch of different, like, back and... Dude, PFIT is underrated. All honesty. Uh, so... I'm gonna get some calves going, and then we can do some car talk. <gasps> God damn it. <gasps> so, I mean... I'm not going to say that I want to lift at Planet Fitness only, <laughs> but if that's what I got, I'm not going to complain much, right? What I'm really trying to say is, uh, I think people that don't want to go to Planet Fitness or like hate on it, uh, for one thing, they kind of base it off of just like the four Planet Fitnesses in the fucking states that actually kick people out for lunking every p fit i've been to has guys has guys like in stringers nobody really cares that much uh but they're just hating on it to hate you know they got a negative mentality well, if i don't if i don't have my special fancy gym i can't get a workout come on come on that's stupid <sighs> so post-workout shake Dextrose, protein, good for you. Uh, let's fucking slam this garbage.
Ah! I love it and I hate it at the same time. So what's in the jug? People are dying to know. And honestly, if I, if I actually wanted them to know, I would say it right in the beginning of the video, because that's when, uh, that's when people are actually listening before they tune out or whatever. But the jug, for those of you who are still here listening, is full of tang. Uh, tang is just like this, uh, this basically orange Kool-Aid sugary drink mix. Nothing special about it. I just happen to enjoy it. So, intra workout carbs, just calories really. And, you know, no aminos or anything. Duh. I think it's a bit of a, a bit of a scam. Like, you know, I fell for the aminos before, so. You know, I'd always fill my little intra workout drink with them. It's just, it's not going to, it's not a complete protein. That's one thing uh, people will bring up a lot is the fact that, like, sure, you're getting amino acids, but they're not complete. I'm not going to get into, like, the whole logic of that. I haven't really looked into it. But uh, if you do want to get something like that to sip on in your intra workout drink, uh, I would be much more inclined to, uh, to take EAAs. So that's a... Uh, essential amino acids so that's going to be actually complete so you know you'll still you'll be able to actually make use of it but if you do your protein reasonably near your workout and you know you take your protein after the workout i think it's enough i think that is enough What else is going on? Hmm. So tomorrow, that's going to be leg day. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to go. I got a couple of options. I'm not going to go to Planet Fitness again. Because I, I want to... I want to go to a legit gym. I don't know if I want to go to my YMCA. Like, it's it has everything I need. It's got a squat rack, leg extension, seated and lying hamstring curl. Uh, so, could go there. Or, I could drive a little bit closer to Columbus and go to Metro Fitness. That's more of a badass gym. That's, that's the gym I went to in day one. The day one legs video, that was there. Super cool over there. I fucking love it. They got dumbbells up to 100 and whatevers. I think 180s at least. And then just super old school bodybuilding gym. Everybody's fucking big. Cool. At least for the most part. So yeah, maybe I'll go over there. I will just have to think about it. But in the meantime, I gotta get home. Eat a little more food, take my vitamins. Actually, no, I, I already took my vitamins today. I've been taking them in, I've been taking them like midday just because, uh, like, sometimes I'll forget at night because I just want to, like, go to bed. I don't need to be awake fucking trying to take out, like, ten different pills from all these little bottles. So, yeah, I just got some food to eat and then I can go to bed. I am fucking exhausted so hopefully you guys are training hard making sure to eat all your eat all your macros if you want to really take it a step up and be a baller be doing your 30 minutes of cardio not even that hard you just fucking sit on your phone and play clash royale for 30 minutes uh, and then get some sleep that's what it's all about man it's like, you're not gonna you're not gonna get big if you just. What am I saying now? You don't get big when you're training. You get big when you're fucking fed and recovering. So, hopefully, there's some plentiful gains to go around the Sam Sulik community tonight. So, 
So I will see you fucking next time. God damn it. <laughs>